His Morning Crew with Rob, Allison, and Jim. <laughs> I'm working telling great stories about important things like this from Patrick. He lives in Jacksonville. And of course, you know, they're worried about the uh, hurricane coming. And so his wife's car is in the garage. So he's worried about his car. You know, he didn't want to be blown away, he said, because it's one of those little smart cars. Oh, those are you know, tiny. The kind you can put in your purse. Right. Kind of thing. It barely fits like one or two people. Yeah. So guess where he put it? His wife took a picture of it, put it on Facebook. He put it in his kitchen. <laughs> no. Yeah. In his kitchen. And he doesn't have a mansion. He's got a regular size house, but they got double doors. And so the little car drove through the double doors and into the kitchen. Wow. It also makes coffee, I think. <laughs> It fits right there. I mean, it is about the size of a dining room table, so. Yeah. Isn't that great? And, of course, you know, there's no gas fumes or anything. Cause it's a smart car, a little electric car. Hmm. Isn't that cute? It's pretty brilliant. It's like a toaster. I'm impressed that this guy drives a smart car. Yeah, because uh, when you see him, he's kind of a tough guy. Yeah. And uh, his wife just laughs at it. She takes videos of it, puts it up there. He looks tough sitting in a little electric car. It's not the most manly looking car, but... That's why I don't have one. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Obviously. Well, that and your big muscles couldn't really fit in there. And your big head. Go ahead. I knew that was coming <laughs> for crying out loud.